welcome to the Wealthy Lala Show with myself, Lori Larson. This is episode 149. So how are you guys doing today? What's up? What's exciting in your world? What's playful? What's fun? Ah, what makes you want to get up today? Hmm? Uh, I found this beautiful quote on uh, Instagram today. Abraham, done by Abraham or Abraham Hicks. And uh, it says, be easy about it. Be playful about it. Don't work too hard at it. Start with things that are easy. Let the universe show you how aware it is of you. There are so many paths to what you want. All of them delicious. And, you know, that's, that's one thing that I really... Um, like to remind myself of because it's not it's not a second nature thing you know maybe if I had been raised in an environment that you know was a, with church and God and stuff like that and then I would have been able to um, you know I've been would have sort of had that second nature of or habit I guess I should more say of knowing that there's something bigger greater that is watching us something that I'm a part of and that is also watching me, you know, but watching me not in like this creepy kind of way, you know what I'm saying, people, <laughs> like when you're dressing or something, <laughs> but watching who you be, uh, watching the energy that we put out, what we're actually really, truly energetically asking for. And, you know, again, like my post that I've mentioned before on this show that I just love and I printed it off and pinned it up to my wall was by Dr. Joe Dispenza. The quantum field responds not to what we want. It responds to who we're being. Now, if what we want and who we're being is aligned, then the universe responds to what we want. Okay. So, um, yeah, like, are you congruent with what you want, with who you be? And, this is just like, this is so incredibly important. And, um, I, you know, as I love it, I love, love, love. I watch all different kinds of people. And, you know, um, like if you threw me at a smorgasbord, I'm in my glory because I love to have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. Um, you know, some people like to have the same thing all the time, not me. Um, I'm like that in life. So I, I want to dabble dibble here. And there was a, um, see, I took a picture of it here too. Um, this woman was, is she's, her name's Brittany Watt, Watkins and she does EFT tapping with, especially for women with uh, weight and body and food stuff issues. Okay. And she had this um, uh, picture where, you know, you have an iceberg above the water. Okay. So that's kind of like, that's our, that's our conscious thoughts and, and stuff like that. So that's kind of the stuff that we want. Now in her reference point, she, she says it, it's kind of like diet and exercise and our things to do with food, like those things that we think about. Okay. Now underneath the water is this big, huge, massive rest of the iceberg that we can't see. And that's our subconscious. So our subconscious mind, that's the part that we're actually being, that we're actually energetically putting out into the world that we don't realize that we're putting out to the world, just largely because it's just not really talked about. I mean, if you're open to this kind of stuff, you've heard this sort of thing before, but if you haven't, this is mind blowing people. This is life changing. Okay. So you look at the, um, what's underneath the water and what that is is that's where those things that stop you from getting you getting what you want so it can be things like trauma like all different kinds of traumas okay because usually it's not the great things that we get points of view about right the great things great more great things but the traumas the stuff that's hard on us so it could be parent child dynamic you were abandoned there's sexual abuse there could be other kinds of abuse alcoholism pre-verbal hunger social anxiety rejected and then, or mean kids, you know, those are just some of the many, many things that can actually impact us that 
we did not when we were younger or at some point in our life to be able to um um like we just didn't have the ability to work through that some that that situation because we're five or we're living in an environment that doesn't allow that kind of thing or we had parents or teachers or friends that couldn't support us in that way and what happens is is that stuff gets stuck stuck energetically in our body and that's the hidden stuff that is who we actually are being so you know how when you are having a conversation or say you're having an argument with someone and all of a sudden the person or yourself for, you know, you are just losing it and you're being like a two-year-old or a five-year-old or an 11-year-old or a teenager and you're just looking at yourself or them and going, you are just not even acting your age. Well, because in that place, they're actually stuck at that point that point and this what is so cool and neat about this is that this can actually be changed like do you know that this can actually be changed so you no longer have to function from it now I noticed that what I did with all of that stuff is I was, you know, I was made wrong for being too sensitive, for talking too much, whatever. So what did I do? Suppress it. I suppressed it, suppressed it, suppressed it, judged myself, made myself wrong for it, added more judgment on top of that. Then I felt guilty because I was bothering other people. Then, um, oh my God, then I felt shame and then, you know, just, oh my God, I could go on, right? I, I, I wore that t-shirt very, very, very well. And um, when I even started to get into this sort of like understanding that there's actually more to us than what we've just sort of been raised and taught with, you know, like we're coming into a new, a new time. We're in a new time where um, there is so much more information out there that we can actually use to create greater in our lives and create healing with our emotional mental um, areas of our lives and that actually creates healing in our physical bodies it creates healing in our uh, relationships um you know, I've really noticed with my hubby and I that the more that I've healed myself and healed those things that I had stuffed down, the better him and I just get along. You know, and it, and, you know, say, well, it's so funny because when we were at dinner last night, there was something he had said to me and I can't remember what it was. And I responded where I kind of took it personally. And a little bit later, you know, I just, but I shut my mouth because I just thought, okay, just leave this, Lori. Don't go anywhere with it. Don't make anything of it. Allowed it to kind of just sort of sit and allowed myself to ask some questions around it. And so a little bit later on, um, he had actually said something further about it. And where he was coming from was a completely different place than I reacted from. Like, it's like he was going to Thailand and I was going to Australia, that kind of thing. Like we were going to different continents, <laughs> different countries. And um, with my lack of choosing, with my choosing lack of reaction, I was able to be present with it. And I turned and I said to him, this is where I went with what you said. And he just looked at me like I was like crazy. And I was not wrong. It was actually where I was coming from. And he was coming from a different place. So it just, you know, it led to clarity. And then that clarity then also leads me to the space of then knowing what I can ask for. So when you do this, honey, this is where I go in my world with it. I wonder if you could, you know, be do something different and or it can be for me to say, hey, hon, where were you coming from with that? I went to go take it personally, but I thought before I did that, <laughs> I should check in with you. What did you actually mean by that? <laughs> Which is actually reminding me of um, 
Mel Robbins, who wrote the book Five Second Rule, she's got some real cool stuff, man. Uh, really, really cool. Very pragmatic stuff. You can find her. Gosh, she does daily coffee talk videos and she's on Facebook and Instagram and God knows where else. Um, and she said like when her and her husband went through a really, really difficult time, you know, he, he was sleeping on the couch and they were, you know, God knows like physically, emotionally, whatever, their whole relationship in life was just going to pot. And she had come across something where she asked herself, you know, what if he had, oh God, I'm going to, I don't, I don't remember exactly how she said it, but it was like, what if he actually has the best intentions? That could be right. But it's along that lines. Like, what if he actually is intending well? So like, what if I looked at my husband as though he's actually intending well, like you give somebody the benefit of the doubt, but have a conversation about it, you know, see if that's actually true, get the information, because maybe my husband was being a total jerk. Okay, but what if he was maybe intending well, ask him from that space, I just wonder even just being in that space of someone intending well, would actually then even open their eyes to see that they were being a jerk. No, he wasn't being a jerk. And I could really see if someone was being a jerk, that would go a lot farther than just, you know, responding, fighting back, you know, <laughs> whatever, right? So anyways, yeah, ah, oh, gosh, I just find this so, so, so fascinating. So, you know, back to that, that original quote that I had read, with Abraham Hicks, I wonder with your life and with situations, you could be easy about it. You could be playful about it. Don't work too hard at it. Start with things that are easy. Let the universe show you how aware it is of you. There are so many paths to what you want and all of them delicious. Like, is that not an invitation to a great fun awesome day, month, life. <laughs> I'm having that people, you know, oh gosh, just what if we can just be easy about it all and be playful about it all. And, oh, what kind of a invitation could just that be to enjoying your day and taking away the significance of so much of what we've bought? Like what if you approached work? you know, be easy with it, be playful with it. You know, are you running your own business? Could you be easy with it? Could you be playful with it? You know, cause there's, there's a lot of push out there to get stuff done, you know, and sometimes, uh, you know, a motivational statement like that can be just the thing you need just at the right time to just give you that little kick in the pants to exercise, start the business, uh, eat different, um, go out of your comfort zone and say something to someone that you have wanted to say, you know, like, I adore you, I love you, I, uh, we need to have this chat, you know, or whatever. Um, and then what I've discovered is that a lot of sweetness is really a sweetness and kindness to ourselves is really, really, really needed right now. Really, really needed. And that I can receive that sort of push motivation um, when I'm being really sweet and kind to me. Then I can be like, okay, come on, Laurie. Like, we need to just do this. Like Nike says, just do this, <laughs> you know? But if I'm feeling really judgmental and unhappy and discouraged or whatever, saying just do it makes me want to throat punch me, you know? And I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'd probably miss and hit my nose or something like that. And then it'd be a bloody mess, you know? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. So, you know, just keep in mind people that there's a lot of stuff going on underneath the surface of the water with that, you know, um, uh, subconscious stuff, you know, the, the quantum field responds not to what we want. It responds to who we're being. And if you're getting what you want, it, it just really means that, who you're being is congruent with what you want. And if so, rock on. Keep rocking it on. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Keep on. <laughs> okay. 
yeah, well, being a singer, I'm not saying I'm going to choose that soon, but I can enjoy it and, and occasionally entertain you with it. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, I hope you have a great, awesome Thursday. Um, yeah, just make it the best day. Be playful, be fun, enjoy your life. Big hugs. And thank you so much for listening. Talk to you again soon.